Hello and welcome to episode 27 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode I want to show you how I use the flag system or the flags that we have in Todoist and to do that I'm just going to set up a, a quick uh, task. So this is... Uh, um, okay, so if I write type in there this is a demonstration. Okay, now there's a couple of ways that you can add flags uh, to uh, your task. The first one is just to type P1, which would give you the priority one flag, or you can type uh, P2, which would give you priority two, and so on, right up to P4. Now, let me just go into this um, and show you the flags what we have. We have priority. Uh, red flag which is uh, priority one we have orange flag which is priority two yellow flag for priority three and a white flag for priority four now I'm probably what you would describe as old school GTD so I don't really like using the priority flags but I came up with a, a different way of using the flags now Usually on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm checking my tasks on my iPhone. And as you can see from this uh, screen capture that I have of my iPhone, the, the problem that I have is that the, there's a lot of scrolling. Now, when you look at that first thing in the morning, uh, it can be quite overwhelming to see so many tasks set up. So, what I've done is I created my flags in, a, in this unique system. So, red flag for me means it absolutely must be done today. Now, I would never have more than uh, I would never have more than three flags. Occasionally, it might go to four, but that is extremely rare. So, my red flag is my absolutely must be done today. My orange flag, I use to denote what would be a morning task. So any task that needs to be done in the morning will be coloured orange and any task that needs to be uh, in the afternoon that I would do normally do in the afternoon I would uh, assign that a yellow flag and then finally my evening tasks would be a white flag. So to show you how this works, if I go into my today folder, now I've deliberately kept a few things in there to show you what this would actually look like on a day-to-day -day basis, although I am recording this a little bit later in the afternoon. So, if you look at this, now I think I mentioned in episode 26 about how I'm using, uh, from my tickler file here, um, Remember March is Active March, because I've been a little bit lazy with my exercise since December, and I thought, right, in March I need to get back into my exercise routine. So, this is just a reminder to, if if I can walk somewhere, I'll walk. It's just a light little, little tickler, just to remind me. Uh, here we've got prepare this week's FCB file. Uh, now, this is an orange flag, and I would have normally done that in the morning. Uh, I confess, I didn't do it in the morning. Uh, and post uh, my YouTube video today, which I'm currently recording, so that'll be posted. That was to be done in the afternoon. And then the remaining tasks, actually, the remaining tasks, if you look, I find most of my... Um, tasks here are all left to do my routine tasks, which I generally do in the evening. Uh, I've got a couple of things here, um, just to ask my wife here, and uh, there's another one here which is just research some websites for inspiration, because I'm thinking about redesigning my personal website. So, but the beauty of the way that Todoist organises the flags, and this is key to me, is that all the, the flags are put in order, so at the very top I have my priority one flags, next comes my priority two tasks, and then my priority three tasks. So as I look through my list on a day, I can see what from the top what needs to be done first. Now, I know this is technically using priority, but for me, this is more to denote the day. So I have set up in my filters, and I think I mentioned this um, in my filters uh, episode, which uh, it was episode 25. Uh, I have my AM tasks, and this would include uh, my priority one tasks and, of course, my uh, morning tasks. And then I have my PM tasks, which include uh, anything remaining from the morning, plus my priority tasks, plus... Uh, and you can see up here what they 
what the code is. So it's today uh, an overdue and P1, P2 and P3. Uh, AM tasks is just P1 and P2 and so on. Focus is today and P1 and overdue. But I don't really use focus that often unless I have a lot of work to do. So there you go. That's how I use the flags. And of course, you can use them in any way you want to use them. They're really, really useful to be able to um, organize your day. And I usually assign flags for my non-routine uh, tasks to when I do my mini review at the end of the day. It's just... I know then I can look at my calendar for tomorrow, I can see whether I've got a busy day or a quiet day, and then I can assign flags as required and maybe postpone a few uh, items. So there you go, that's how I use flags. Uh, maybe you prefer to use them in a, uh, in a more um, conventional way. Uh, but, as I say, I suppose I'm just a little bit traditionalist when it comes to GD GTD and I don't particularly want to have um, using the flags of 1, 2, 3, 4. So I tend to split so split it so priority, focus, task, which would be the red flag, priority 1. Uh, priority 2, which is the orange flag, which is my AM tasks. Priority 3, uh, the yellow flag, which is my afternoon tasks. And the priority 4, the white flag, is my evening tasks. So I hope you found this short episode useful. Please let me know in the comments below how you're using flags. It's always helpful to the other viewers uh, to give them ideas about how they might use them. And of course, if you're new to this channel, please, please subscribe uh, because then you'll get all the latest episodes as and when they come. So, until next time, have a great week and talk to you again soon.